Hi, my name is Adam. And uh, one of the things that I like to do is walk through neighborhoods, through the woods, through parks, and on mountains. I like to walk. So join me, and together we'll take a step to see the world. At this vista, very nice. I am here. The annual tulip festival. And I wanted to, when I parked, the first thing I saw were these cool engines, these cool tractors. I wanted to come take a look at them. I have seen pictures of the Tulip Festival for years, for several years, from people on Facebook and stuff who went. But I've never been here myself. So this year, I thought it would be a good idea to come check it out. Um, I will get this out of the way right now. I am wearing my sunglasses so I cannot see what is on my screen. I hope I am capturing something worth looking at. That is really cool. I'm using the force to guide me here. Look at all these porta potties. But, the photos of the Tulip Festival that I've seen through the years are always very, very pretty. Um, I am fully inoculated against the COVID-19 right now, for now. If there are any booster shots in the future, I'm ready for them. But I've had my two uh, vaccination shots of Pfizer already. So, I'm not too worried about catching things here from anyone, and I'm going to keep my distance anyway, because I would rather bring views of the um, tulips than views of anything else. These are very nice. No picking flowers. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Okay, the price to get into the Tulip Festival was maybe 20, 22, 20 something dollars. Um, parking's free, that's good. I hope it's free. But it is a ways away from home. I probably drove a good 35 miles to get here. And that's further than I usually drive on a given day because living in a suburb, you have like everything you want close to you anyway. So you don't usually have to go too far. Yeah. Now not the all all of the tulips are not in bloom yet. They're like at 75% bloom right now. Um, the problem with tulips, they are absolutely beautiful when they are bloomed, but they only last like two three weeks. And then they die. And then they're not pretty anymore. <laughs> so, um, uh, right. So, yeah, they have a. Oh, yeah, that's kind of uneven. For the white tulips, all right. Now, there's a neighbor in my neighborhood who every year has really pretty beds of tulips surrounding his front and side yard. It's always amazing to look at. He does a really good job with his garden and farming efforts. But, yeah. So, it's a, okay, there's something I come back. That's cool, all right, pink. Yellows. I like these ones with the, uh, the yellows with the red in them. About 10 years ago, maybe one of our neighborhood squirrels decided to bury 
some of the uh, neighbor's bulbs in our yard, so we've got some tulips to now also. Very nice, very pretty, look at all that. Um, nice, nice, nice. Very nice, very nice. But, let's see. What else is being offered here? Uh, they got some food. Um, the barbecue smelled fantastic. I'm not going to get any, but it smelled so good. And they have some coffee huts. There's a wine tasting thing, or just wine. I don't know. <laughs> it's just wine. Maybe it's not tasting. Maybe it's just wine. I'm over there. And uh, lots of doggos. Nice. And a windmill. That's cool looking. Just lots of farmland, very scenic, very pretty. I love all the colors. Tulips are some of my favorite flowers. I just wish they lasted longer. I really do. So my idea is to number one. I don't know how much time I have to record on, for starters. Uh, my last recording at Cannon Beach, I ran out of room on my memory card. So that one was cut short just a little bit, not by much. And I'm still trying to upload that one right now, get it all together. Um, without creating too much of a backlog of movies I need to put together. But I do have a short backlog right now. Of films that I need to put together, and that's fine. These, uh, these don't, these look like they've seen better days. I'll be honest. Look at that. Like I said, they don't last too long. These ones are going away already. Mm. Why? The uneven ground sucks <laughs> for walking. Here we go. All right, there's a nice wide path. I'm gonna go down this way. Then I'll double back. Try to go around the place. Maybe a few uh, cross paths also, because that is just very, very, very pretty. Very pretty. <laughs> okay, did they not just say not to do that on all the signs? And there's signs everywhere. <laughs> I was supposed to have some company along with me this time, but uh, I'm kind of surprised they left and let me in because I got off work early and then I got ready to go. But it was further out here than I thought, so I was like an hour and a half late for my check-in time, and I didn't think we were supposed to be more than an hour late. They let me in anyway. That's good. But uh, yeah, they sell out of tickets real fast. Um, they didn't, didn't actually have a whole lot of ticket spots available. Uh, the festival only lasts a few weeks, obviously, because again, tulips don't last that long. But uh, yeah, they didn't have a whole lot of spots left available. And it was only like during the week 
So I had to cut off at work early to come out here. And uh, like I said, I got ready, got on my way. There was some traffic. The place is further out than I thought it was going to be. And seriously, I didn't get here till like an hour and a half over my check-in time. But I made it. I'm happy I did. It's very pretty. I have a feeling there's a lot more up there that I'm not seeing. Look, they even have rides. Hell attractions. Oh boy. Well, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I don't know what that is. What is that? That's a slide. Oh, it's a slide. Oh, and a pumpkin. Pumpkin attraction. That. That's cool. All cool for path to the tulip field. The red barn. Hemp. Um, the carvers. I don't know. That's a cool photo opportunity. I knew that didn't look real. <laughs> I parked and I said that can't be real. And it's not. It's a. Uh, I don't know what all that is. Here's the line simulator. <laughs> I don't know. See, there's lots of people here. Look at the parking lot. Extended parking lot. That's not where I parked. I parked back where I started this video. It's just another place to walk around. Oh, let's see. How does this look? I guess this is like an overview. You can get up high and just see the whole thing. That's cool. I could see that being uh, good for pictures. Let's sit somewhere for just a few. Yeah, pretty colors, pretty colors. Right, right. Oh, yeah. Oh, that goes on way down there. Wow. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll get started, huh? Let's see. Oh. First step, fall into a ditch. That's nice. <laughs> smart. Very smart at him. Okay. Doggos. Lots of doggos. Yikes, a truck. Doggo.
looks like a tour group. Well, that's cool. I guess. I'm surprised I'm even out here because I have horrible allergies. But they haven't been bothering me yet this year too much. Oh, that's pretty. I love all that. Pretty pinks. Love them, love them, love them. Pink is one of my favorite colors. And hot pink is one of my favorite colors, I should say. Love that color. And that's been since I was a kid. I like the uh, multicolored offerings. That's cool. I'll probably do uh, music over all of this. It's just, uh, it's just a relaxing, just a relaxing, very pretty stroll. I like it. I like it a lot. There's an actual road. That's tempting because I'm stubbing my toes on all these little grooves. <laughs> That's tempting. And I'll just keep it on like this. Switching hands. Very nice, very pretty. Oh. I'm out here all alone. That's great. <laughs> I've traveled to where no man has gone before. After planting and watering. I'm going to venture a guess that wearing a mask all the time, even outside, is greatly reducing my allergies um, suffrage this year. I didn't really keep track of it last year, but like so many other people, I'm out more this year than last year around this time, probably. white and the red. White and pink. Very cool. Very pretty. 
I like it, I like it a lot. Yeah. And I see some of these haven't bloomed yet. That's cool. That's really cool. Yeah. So I'm going to walk off into the road over there. Just kidding. I've done that before. Don't do that. <laughs> well, I got my sunglasses on. I can't really see the screen. I hope I'm actually recording. It would suck if I have to walk around this again. Now the thing is, you can pay the entry price, and you can stay as long as you want. It's not like at the zoo where you paid the entry price and you're only able to go through one time without, and you couldn't turn around to see things you missed. That was, uh, I wasn't too happy about that. Because at the zoo, you got to deal with, you know, a lot of animals just aren't out doing stuff. They're, you know, they, they're just having their own private time. Can't schedule an animal to be out. So, a lot of the zoo you just walk on by. You don't stop for a long time. I was able to get through the zoo really quickly. And they didn't let me turn back to get to some things that I missed. That is so pretty. I love the colors. I love these pinks and whites. I'm really focusing on the pinks. Um, I'm not too much of a fan of yellow. Yellow's never really never done anything for me. You know. Um, and uh, whites are kind of plain. But the pinks pretty very pretty the oranges are nice not much of a fan of orange either but you know they don't look bad in you know on some flowers but there's orange there nice very nice ah it's excellent excellent ah. I would say I'd like this in my own yard, but I don't know. I'm not a good farmer. Everything I plant usually dies. Um, years ago, I picked up a, a uh, sprout for a uh, red cedar. And I still don't know where to plant the thing because they, they live for like 3,000 years. Where the hell am I going to plant it where it's not going to be bothered in that time, you know? I can't think of any place that won't be unspoiled in that amount of time. Pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> I love the mountains in the background. It's so gorgeous. The skyline is so nice. I focus on that way back there. I don't know. Probably doesn't focus too much. Well, these flowers just gorgeous. Absolutely. Hmm. Yeah. 
Very, very nice. I don't like the road of the traffic. That can go away. This is a very nice fence, too. It looks like it was built this year or maybe last year. If it was built even the year before that, they're keeping really good care of it. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. That's kind of muddy looking. It's not muddy, but it was at some point. I can tell. I've spent so many years in the mud. It was crawling around, getting all dirty. Yep, I did. Paid my dues. Ruined all my clothes. So many pairs of shoes. Oh, cool. That's a costume. That can't be a... That's a costume. That's got to be a costume. It's nice, though. I do like it. Nice costume. Nice costume. Very nice costume. I don't know what's going on with that. It's a photo shoot or something. You guys are missing the flowers. You got the fence, you're missing the flowers. Look at that. Oh, that one. This one got lost. It's out here all by itself. I need to go home, baby. I need to go home. Oh, there's bees buzzing around me. That sucks. <laughs> I mean, it's good that there's bees. They buzz around the flowers. There's so many. Don't don't single me out, you know. Underneath that, that is so cool. Look at that. God, that's colorful. I love it. I love it. It's a cool. Very cool. Very cool. I would need some more describing words because everything is either cool or pretty in my videos. Jeez. I don't know. I think it'll come off as fake if I describe something as fantabuloso or something. <laughs> Phantasmic. It's phantom <laughs> I don't know. What I do know is this path is um, not even. <laughs> kind of jerking around here. Kind of jerking around here. I'm going to go around this by this uh, porta potty carrier. I'm not going to check the porty parties out. I have no interest in those. Or anything left inside. I'm glad they're here for anybody who needs them, though. I'm going to walk around these people. <laughs> My plan was just to walk up this path. I didn't realize there were people here hiding the flowers. Very nice. All these, all these different colors. Got reds, purples, oranges, pinks, yellows, whites. Lots of green from the leaves. Oh, hold on, hold on. That's pretty cool. Look at that deep purple. Or dark pink. Right there. That's cool. That's a nice one, too. Mm -hmm. All right, Let's go over here. Okay. Yeah, nice doggos. The guy has a very patriotic shirt on. Nothing wrong with that. Mm. I'll walk down this way. Get my exercise. 
Hmm. And the white flowers, they just don't do much for me. The red flowers are nice. The purples are very nice. Doggo. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, yeah. Another type of purple. All right. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think these are creamsicle looking ones over here. Very cool. Very neat. Always neat, cool, or pretty. Everything. I need, I need a bigger vocabulary. <laughs> I've got a good vocabulary. I try to keep it in my broadcast simple though. <sighs> so they'll be more easily understood. Really cool, nice, very pretty colors. Striking, even in person. I can't promise that translates to video at all, but in person, very striking. Very, uh, possibly worth the price of entry. I like it. Yeah, wow, look at this. Look at how busy it is. Lots of people. Hey, there's that sled ride uh, attraction again. Ride, ooh, we called it a ride. Oh, shame on you, Adam. Oh, you know better. That is not a ride, that is an attraction. <laughs> that is something that says, hey, there might be more cool than just flowers there. Let's go check it out. But the yellows, they don't do a whole lot for me. I'm not really a fan of them. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool one. Hold on. That one looks like a party. Very neat. Look at all that. Wow, orange and yellow. That's neat. I like that. And I like that it's... I don't know much about tulips except that they're pretty and then they die. But uh, I'm liking the idea that they can be multicolored out of one plant. Like, we see orange and yellow but we also see like purple or once upon a time red and then now it's dying. And yellow, oh, that's that's cool. That's like a striking difference between you know two of the flowers on the same plant. That's cool. Neat. Groovy. <laughs> Funky. Like that, white and red. Totally, you know, separate colors. Funky. Funky.
It's a pretty uh, big ranch over there. That is about where I entered. No, I feel like we've been following this little dog like the whole time. All these people keep getting in front of me. Cool. Love it. Mountains of snow in the background. And it's just beds of beautiful flowers. This, this must be like, I don't know, is this a grapevine or what is this? I thought it was like a corn maze, but that's definitely not corn. I don't know, that's cool. Like the grapevines or something. Not sure what that is. And now I'll go around this way. Yeah, they got like a whole carnival going on over here. Something's crawling on me. I don't like that. See, that's cool. They just have a little ride through for people who don't want to walk. That's kind of cool. It's a bouncy ride. Oh, it just kid. Tiger might have liked this place. <laughs> Tiger used to come with me everywhere. But he would not like being picked up the whole time. You'd need to walk around and stuff. On one side, dead. 
on the other are a bunch of white flowers that do nothing for me. So I'm going to walk this way. Keep to the original plan. Walk around the place. It's okay that you trip every few steps. <laughs> the ground is very uneven. <laughs> you know. Oh wow, what's that? Yeah. That color means business. Nice. Fantastic. What do I got over here? We have mammoth ears. Yeah. Uh, my wife and I were just talking about elephant ears like last week. Purples. Cool. So seeing elf or mammoth ears and knowing that they're actually elephant ears <laughs> is uh, cool. That's cool. Whatever. Unexpected. Shouldn't be unexpected. Most fairs have them. They're an easy thing to make. They just never, never make them at all. <laughs> I don't. Oh, that's cool. I like it. I like it. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, very, very striking. I love it. These multicolored ones are beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. And then that's got the yellows that do nothing for me. But on the other side of that, there's a nice color too. Ooh, look. These people were trying to take a picture there earlier. And the cup could be past me. What's up? There's some big shoes to fill. <laughs> Somebody left that we didn't. What do we got here? The local one barbecue. Smell up with some, one of these barbecues around here smells really good. They got a, a lot of colada. That looks good. Pina coladas are like my favorite mixed drink, though I never have it alcoholic. And they got mammoth ears and elephant ears. Ain't that great. And then they have a taco truck and an ice cream place. I don't need any of those things. Because when I eat, and there's food in my belly, I often get tired. I have a long drive ahead of me to get home. So I won't eat those things. And I'm actually almost done with this walk, I think. Just gotta go around here. You wouldn't at work when we're actually in the office on like some days they'll have a food truck come out to the parking lot so people can, go, can buy lunch from but you'd never find like a, an elephant ear you know thing in the parking lot that'd be kind of funny they have had uh greek and uh Mediterranean a few times. That was always surprising. Yeah. Okay, I'm liking the flowers a lot. They're very pretty. It's a nice walk. It's it's lengthy. And it's not one you can just blow over because the ground's all uneven. You do have to watch your step. So it's a workout for your ankles too. That's good. That's good. Uh, if you got weak ankles, you might want to avoid it. Um, yeah. Very pretty. Lots of people. More people than I thought were going to be here. But I shouldn't be surprised because, uh, like I said, it's sold out like a lot. Almost every day is sold out. And it sells out, you know, prior to that day anyway.
Look at this, even the uh, tree stump has flowers growing on it. That's super cool. Super duper cool. Very nice. And there's the uh, the tram tour. There we go. Think of it, Adam. Hollywood Studios tram tour. That's a neat set of chairs. I like that. I gotta think this place is doing rental um, strollers or something because there are way too many of these cow strollers. I don't think the public would just randomly pick those up in a store. <laughs> I didn't see a stroller rental place, but there's got to be one. Very nice, very nice. I think uh, when I make this next corner, I'm going to wrap up filming. And then I'm going to stop and take some pictures. Um, because, yeah, I've been wanting to come out here for a few years, but it's, uh, it's hard to get me out of my house these days. This year has been a actual good teaching tool that lets me know just how precious home is. And, uh, yeah, they say the home is where the heart is, and never really realized that so much until this last year this pandemic keeping people inside <sighs> and uh, yeah I appreciate anyone who's watching this I hope you're doing well in life um, keeping safe keeping clean keeping yourself away from the virus uh, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. That is about it. This is oh, yeah. Tulip Festival. Annual Tulip Festival. Well, in Oregon. Yep. Looks really nice. No picking the fucking flowers. <laughs> Someone's gonna come around here eventually with a bunch of white out and say and just cover up the no the no all the time. Yeah, I like it a lot. And I really like the parking lot. <laughs> the parking lot right next to me here. It's full. It's a busy day. And that's with uh, a lower capacity probably okay that's it for me thanks